Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, I <clears throat> I will talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, a way how to interact with them in, in Python. Uh, in uh, I, I will talk about inter uh, interaction in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, do do you hear about Bitcoin? Do you work with Bitcoin? Uh, some someone. Uh, we will talk about uh, RPC and other other techniques how to interact with, and I I will show you some libraries for the the Bitcoin for for Ethereum and for for both. A uh, little little information about me. Uh, I work as a software engineer in Slashpool. It's Bitcoin mining pool in Prague. Uh, I work primarily on the mining part, mining backends. We we use Python for it. Uh, I have a lot of experience with mining Python and, and Bitcoin together. Uh, I do Python since 2011, and I do Bitcoin in uh, since 2013. It's a long time for the for the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin. I think prob probably everybody heard about Bitcoin. Be by, because the price rises too much and drops too much, and uh, I think uh, we need we need to introduce Bitcoin and what the, what the Bitcoin is, and uh, talk about the some technic more technical uh, parts of of the Bitcoin, and what what the Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is peer to peer payment network. It's currency. It's digital gold. It's money money of the internet or internet of money uh, you can you can see the bitcoin as peer to peer payment network you can send money directly from you to your 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 body your mate without any any third party and, and middleman it's first time ever when you, when you can do this online without any, any third parties like bank or PayPal. Uh, it's decentralized. There is no single point of failure. If uh, one node dies, if one if uh, one miner uh, stop mining, there is no problem for Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin ecosystem or the cryptocurrency, and there is no uh, central authority who. Who decide your transaction is good, your transaction is bad? It's just free, uh, free system and uh, in, and work on, on free market. It's also digital gold. That means store of store of value. But we are in early stage in Bitcoin. the The value is uh, the value rise and drops. Mm, it's just a very risky investment, but I think in in future will be store of, of value. Money of the internet, as I mentioned, it's first real internet money without any middleman who to trust trust him when you want say say some some cash online. And the last uh, last thing, uh, internet of money. Uh, I I use words of Andreas Antonopoulos because uh, internet growth so fast because you don't need to ask for permission to build service on on top of the internet you can start a website buy a simple cheaper server start uh, start learning some python and there is it's so easy to to start something on the internet and it's similar uh, in the bitcoin with money if you want to build some some uh money service or something when you uh, when you want accept accept money it you need a company some uh, some restrictions if you imagine you start a bank you need a you need a uh, lo lots of money for government some security if you want to start great bitcoin app you just just go and up upload to the app store and your app is is online and how how do Bitcoin work? Uh, the I, I show you some basic principles like wallets, transactions. Start with wallets. Uh, wallet Bitcoin wallet is pair of two keys. One is private, one is public, and 
uh, anybody can uh, generate a wallet. So it's just generating two keys. Uh, public key or public key hash is your your payment address. And if you give this address to, to anybody, uh, then uh, then he can send money money to you. If you want spend spend that money, uh, sign the payment order the transaction by uh, by your private key, which is packed uh, to to this public key, and send the transaction into the network. And uh, the wallets are just keys. We need uh, some wallet applications. Uh, there is many uh, many applications for mobiles, for desktop. There are also hardware wallets. Do you know Trezor and Slashpool? It's hardware wallet for Bitcoin. It's, I think, uh, uh, the safest way to store, store your Bitcoins in separate hardware device, which, which is uh, resistant for the mal malware attacks and something like that. It looks like this. I can show you there. And if you have wallet, you can sign the transaction. And the tra transaction is basically sign a payment order. It's uh, signed by your private key, uh, which is uh, wait. Uh, it's uh, okay. Um, transaction is has has two parts: inputs and outputs. And if you want to send money from w one address to another, you use a private key for the uh, sending address. Send this transaction and. Uh, Send send this piece of data to, to the uh, Bitcoin network, and if when the miners approve this transaction, the uh, the bitcoins will be on the the next next address. Uh, I, I mentioned blockchain. Blockchain is right now is buzzword because everybody wants to go to blockchain. And we we need the blockchain everything. I think it's not technically blockchain is very slow and cost uh, very costly database and uh, the the idea behind the blockchain is we don't we need uh, some trustless system and uh, we uh, we store the store the transactions and every transaction in, in the Bitcoin network somewhere and uh, we need we need no no uh, control about the we 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 need no authority to control this this transaction uh, and this uh, this database if you if you have bank there is some dba which take care on, on the on the database and if someone wants to send money you he need access to the database and write the data there uh, right now in in bitcoin you just sign your, your payment order, send to the miners, and miners see all these transactions and collect into the blocks, which save into, into blockchain. Block is one megabyte of transaction list, and uh, the blockchain uh, is the, the network accept just valid blocks. You cannot save one transaction into the blockchain. You, uh, you need to save a block of, of the transactions. And it's hard to create a block because if if anybody can easily create a block, uh, they they try to save many blocks uh, together uh, in the same time in the database, and the transactions in in blockchain will not be uh, uh, mm, in chronological order. And that's that's a reason to exist existing some mm, proof of work and some mining stuff. The proof of work is piece of data which which is hard to find. It's generated by hashing the the block header. And if someone find this uh, this proof, uh, he can save the the block of transactions into the blockchain. And this is for the uh, slowdown, the block generation is DDoS protection and is protection for uh, chain splits. Uh, 
we need uh, one chain with a hierarchical order of, of transactions. There, oh, uh, wallets. As I mentioned, the wallets at first, we have uh, another new type of wallets. Uh, they call it uh, HD wallets. They are hier hierarchical and deterministic. That means you have one key and you can generate a deterministic in deterministic order some other Bitcoin Bitcoin addresses because it's uh, much more safer use one address at once because every every transactions in blockchain are public and any, anybody uh, can uh, discover and try analyze the whole blockchain but you can uh, if you want you can use one one address for for uh, one transaction and generate uh, one new Bitcoin address for the next next transaction. It's supported by, I think, any, any clients today. It's supported by core, uh, Bitcoin Core, also in Trezor, Electrum wallets, in also in mobile uh, mobile wallets. And how we how we can interact with the Bitcoin and with the with the network. Uh, at first, we can we can interact the network with Bitcoin D. It's a uh, Bitcoin daemon. It's it's a uh, main software uh, which run the network. It's full node. Uh, it requires whole blockchain locally. That means uh, 160 gigabytes, and uh, have any uh, have uh, any AP um, have a JSON RPC. Uh, API and uh, some client interface and support any methods to interact like uh, support wallets, uh, support sending, receiving transactions, par uh, parsing blocks. But if you want to work with, with Bitcoin D, you need the, the whole blockchain and the size of blockchain grows 100 gigabyte per year, I think. It's, 10, uh, it's 1 megabyte per 10 minutes. You can use Bitcoin uh, CLI, uh, generate address or dump private key, but it's not not best op op option to, to interact with with it in, in Python. We have some libraries in Python. Uh, the problem, uh, the main problem of uh, most libraries in, in Python, they are not ma not actively maintained. There is many many many. Uh, libraries, but few few of, of them are actively maintained. One is uh, BTC Pi. It's a Bitcoin library and Python Trezor. It's uh, for interact with hard hardware wallet Python. At first, there is generic uh, generic library JSON RPC. Uh, JSON RPC request. It's I think you probably know the requests library in Python. Uh, the JSON RPC request is built on the top of of the request and implement implements uh, JSON RPC protocol for for Python. You can install it easily. Pip install JSON RPC requests and use that way. Uh, from JSON RPC import server uh, here initiate. Oh, yeah. Uh, add the connection information to your Bitcoin node. And just querying in Python, Python way, the the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin the the commands. There is some new address dump uh, dump private key. I can show you. Uh, example JSON RPC Bitcoin. Yeah, it's same example. If I run this uh, example, yeah, create a new address and dump the private key for for it. Uh, but everything you you can do with the JSON RPC request is on uh, on your. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin D. You still need, uh, still need a whole blockchain and any information so like the address you, you created and 
uh, transaction you you send are stored on on the on the daemon and it's not not really good for uh, uh, for some secure uh, secure generating private keys and addresses and 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 so uh, there is another library you can use the BTC Pi is one I think one actively maintained and easy to use library for uh, for uh, Bitcoin in in Python and this library uh, supports offline generation keys offline generation wallets and and transactions parsing blocks and anything you and any, any uh, everything you need to to work with with Bitcoin uh, there, there is example of uh, some some uh, some work in, with with wallets uh, at first yeah at first uh, you have to set up the uh, the network because the Bitcoin has a, a three different uh, different network one is mainnet there are with coin and there are the network with, where the coin has a value there there is also a uh, test net there there are a worthless coin and it's for testing if you want uh, some testing coins just just ask uh, just ask or uh, go to the some mm, oh, some website you give which gives you testing coins there there is normal bitcoin network with mining with miners with everything but with worthless coins and also you can bootstrap your own bitcoin network on on your computer it's called track test and uh you can also set up the work test here it's this setup uh is because the live address and testing address are different it's it's for uh protection for sending coin for from uh, sending live coin to the uh, to the address on on the other other ch uh, other network and you need to set up which which uh, network you you want to use there is some uh, structs i i have a private key exported from uh, from bitcoin d i can also create a randomly generated private key or i can uh, create from some uh, some byte sequences or something i set up the private key i can create a public key from from it and i can uh, i can uh, get bitcoin address and uh, segwit address the segwit addresses are new format of, of bitcoin address uh, i can show you btc by yeah here there is full uh, full exported key from the bitcoin daemon and uh here is the the generation of addresses and the yeah that's it and python yeah and it generates address from the the bitcoin uh the bitcoin private key and new uh bech 32 address it's just new format uh, there uh, the, uh, the library btc pi also supports hd wallets uh, if you have some hd uh, private uh, private key i have i can uh, also i can generate it uh, you can uh, generate multiple wallets from one one seat yeah i have another example Uh, no, I have this here. Sorry. Yeah, the the second part 
is generating from the extended uh, private or public key for the uh, HD wallet. If I run the whole thing, uh, BTC. Yeah, here the the last two are uh, also Bitcoin addresses generated from the HD HD wallet uh, HD wallet format. Uh, did, uh, who who heard about the, the Trezor wallet? Do you hear about it? Many people. Yeah, cool. I have one Trezor here, and Trezor is hardware wallet, and also have a Python API. The Python Trezor Python is a library uh, developed by Satoshi Labs. It's official. Uh, Official library to interact uh, with Trezor hardware wallet in Python. You need some some drivers for USB, but uh, it's easy to, to install it. I I don't know if if it works on on Windows, but Linux and Mac is okay. Install the Trezor, and you can uh, you can work with your hardware wallet uh, in Python. You can. Uh, you can call any Trezor API in Python, like set uh, home screen or change pin or or generate address or or assign transactions. But any any uh, anything you can do with Trezor uh, on the uh, Trezor uh, Trezor World website, you can do in in Python. Uh, here is. Uh, here is example how to use the the Trezor uh, library. In, initiate uh, he, uh, initiate uh, initiate the uh, Trezor client, and here is a uh, way how to get some tre uh, Trezor uh, addresses. Trezor doesn't support uh, return. Uh, or pri painting private key, you just uh, uh, return address or sign transaction, but you can't get the private key from from the Trezor. It's key feature of the hardware wallet. Uh, I can generate some address from Trezor. I can uh, create a transaction and sign it uh, from Python, and I also can uh, export the extended public key. Uh, XPUB and work uh, with the Trezor uh, public part of, of address in, in Python without the Trezor. Uh, I can show you this example when I have Trezor connected. There is example Trezor. It's generate the, the addresses. When I connect Trezor and try it no found not found but right now i need the uh need a add pin and then i unlock the trezor and i will i can generate the, the addresses and i can i don't like this pin entry i disable trezor and i uh have uh, another example i exported uh xpop sorry XPUB from uh, from Trezor and easily with uh, BTC Pi library uh, uh, generate same address addresses uh, from from Trezor without the the Trezor device connected. Here, uh, BTC Pi pop, yeah, and those addresses are same as those addresses. Created from from Trezor CC one BDEE -E. uh, uh, so BDII yeah just just work and with those three libraries I can do almost everything uh, everything in in Bitcoin I can I can do uh, access the network I I can use wallets transactions I can parse blocks but I can mine because I need a special hardware to mining. But if you do any any project uh, on, on the on the top of the Bitcoin, you can use those three libraries, and you have almost everything you you need.
and also uh, the the interesting crypto crypto network and, and coin is ethereum uh it's d d do you hear about the the ethereum yeah but uh, a little bit more than than bitcoin and what what's the ethereum it's similar to bitcoin it's also currency also network but uh there are a uh, few uh few things which is uh better or different uh between bitcoin and and ethereum one is is ethereum is decentralized computer that means you can run decentralized application applications not distributed application but decentralized and it's smart contract platform did you heard about smart contracts yeah uh, and what's the smart contract is the smart contracts are scripts uh, and scripts which can hold information and run some some code it's it can be Turing complete code in it's uh, it run by uh, Ethereum virtual machine it's like JVM but mm, simplify uh, simpler and in in contracts you can you can code uh, man, many uh, autonomous things like crowdfunding property registries you can use it for company shares and if imagine the the property registries on ethereum and you have ethers like yeah like money and you have uh tokens and some 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 tokens representing the car and if i want to buy a car i don't need some trust party or or uh I don't go to the car registry or on the government. I just send to either to address uh, uh, address um, of owner, and the contracts uh, send me a car. It's very simple simple des description how how the smart contracts works, but I think it's it's okay. And uh, in Ethereum. You can also use JSON RPC requests because Ethereum has also JSON RPC API. You can use a similar way. Uh, there is some new new address, and there is some actual block block number. But uh, Ethereum supports uh, Web uh, Web three API. Uh, it's some JavaScript API designing designed for for Ethereum. But uh, the Ethereum Foundation and the company behind the Ethereum uh, have uh, Python implement uh, Python implementation and maintain this Python implementation. And uh, through this uh, uh, this Web3 framework, you can easily access the Ethereum uh, Ethereum network and Ethereum smart contract platform. Some example, sim it's same example as the first import some uh, web3 stuff uh, create the connection and ask uh, ask the the network for uh, web3 and uh, f for uh, json rpc you also need the ethereum client running if you want to uh, work with smart contracts it's own language um, called solidity and you need to compile this language uh, into into the JVM, uh, no JVM, uh, EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine. And you you have to use a Solidity compiler, so C. And uh, in Python, there is a wrapper uh, around this. I think C implementation or maybe C implementation of, of this compiler. Uh, if you install mm, pip install py uh, by so C, uh, you have to install the the Solidity compiler. There is uh, there is a uh, link. This is example of very easy uh, contract uh, written in Solidity. There is some contract greeter which has a, a public variable greeting and some uh, some uh, methods. This method initiate the uh, init the contract, 
set the greeting to hello and there is two two other methods like uh, greet the the method return the value of the greeting variable and set greeting sets the greeting greeting variable to any uh, any value it's very uh, very simple contract anybody can change the 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 value there are no restrictions but if you want more restrictions you can you can write it in in the solidity but this is i think the very basic uh, example here is example of of python uh, solidity compiler and web3 to deploy your contract uh, read the 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 source of, of contract compile it and uh, create a contract here oh and the contract deploy deploy the contract into the into the ethereum network and any anyone can use it and right now change the the variable uh, greeting and also uh, and we also can interact with the contract in in python there we have a contract object and the contract has two methods set greeting and greet i can call the greet method and the the contract returns its value i also uh, set the contract contract uh, contact value and call this set greeting and uh, uh, also print it again and uh, contract will, will say it in, in Chinese uh, and summary of, of this uh, this Python libraries I use just these five libraries for any any project I, I uh, I do uh, on the top of Bitcoin, JSON RPC request, BTC Pi, Python Trezor when I need the uh, hardware hardware wallet support, and for Ethereum Web3, uh, Pi Source, and there is a lot of other other tools, but those are actively maintained, and uh, I don't need nothing more than than uh, than I get using this five five libraries and that's that's it uh, thank you for for listening and if you have questions just ask or send questions <laughs>